næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde dig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. The video I present today is about a strange thing about coherent groups, for instance, women or immigrants who criticize their fellows. I, Boe Larson, had an unformulated assumption that women do not criticize women and immigrants do not criticize immigrants. That they are homogeneous groups. I seem to be thinking in old terms. But I see now that that opinion is wrong. I noticed my prejudice when I read the Danish newspaper Weekend Devising. It wrote a week ago that research showed that only five of the 50 most cited experts in Denmark are women and that is obviously too few. At least, according to Bolette Blegard, lecturer in communication at Aalborg University. When? The ideal expert source is most often a white, middle-aged male professor. We create an image of him as more credible and wiser, say, than a young brown woman who provides different perspectives. And, does anyone really believe that a minority ethnic woman, because of her obviously very exotic skin color, has a completely new perspective on cancer treatment in the Danish regions? Does a female Middle East expert have a hitherto unknown analysis of the war in Gaza? Another example, in the Danish online media Altingit March 2nd, 24, an author, Ali Aminyaki, an Arabic name, radio host at Denmark's radio, writes that another author focuses on a well-known but taboo subject, namely a conservative clan-divided society model with social control, backward, with hatred for homosexuals. This model of society clearly refers critically to the Muslim immigrants who hang together in this way. The phenomenon I describe is often in the scientific or at least serious literature referred to as intergroup criticism or internal dissent within a particular group. It occurs when individuals within a shared identity or community express disagreement or criticism toward others within the same group, often due to differences in beliefs, practices, or approaches. In the examples I provided, it could be called intrafeminist criticism or intra-immigrant criticism, respectively. This phenomenon is not exclusive to any particular group and can be observed in various social, cultural, or political contexts. Here are some examples. Feminist criticism. Within the feminist movement, internal debates may exist about the most effective strategies for achieving gender equality. Some feminists might criticize others for being too radical, while others may argue that some are not radical enough. These internal discussions highlight the diversity of perspectives within the broader feminist community. Immigration criticism. Among immigrants or within immigrant communities, there can be disagreement on how to approach integration, cultural preservation, or responses to immigration policies. Some individuals may feel that others are too assimilated, while others may believe that certain members are not assimilating enough. These debates reflect the complexities within immigrant communities. Political ideologies. Within any political ideology, be it conservative, liberal, or others, there can be internal disagreements. For example, liberals might criticize each other for not being progressive enough, while conservatives might have differing views on the degree of traditionalism or the role of government. Religious communities. In religious groups, disagreements over interpretations of doctrine or the appropriate level of adherence to religious practices can lead to intergroup criticism. Members may critique each other's levels of devotion or interpretations of sacred texts. Understanding and acknowledging intergroup criticism can foster constructive dialogue and promote unity within diverse communities. It also shows the complexity and diversity of perspectives within any given group, challenging stereotypes of homogeneity. I, Boe Larson, have come to see that if we do not use intergroup criticism, it would be like two concrete blocks, for instance, men and women, fighting each other head on. Intergroup criticism has also been studied scientifically and in American magazines like The Atlantic and The New Yorker. Even a marriage gets better if, when you are alone with your partner, use loving criticism towards him or her of behavior you do not think is good. But never do it when others are listening. Thank you for watching my video. And please subscribe.